Annabelle Swift, Kindergartner, Story and Pictures by Amy Schwartz. Lucy taped the name tag onto her little sister's blouse. Annabelle Swift, Kindergartner, she read. I remember my first day of kindergarten, Annabelle, Lucy said importantly. I didn't have a big sister to train me. Annabelle straightened her name tag. I'm going to teach you the fancy stuff, Annabelle. Tomorrow we'll know you're my sister. Annabelle followed Lucy into the den. Lucy stood by the globe. This is the world, Annabelle. This is geography. She peered at the globe and put her finger on a certain spot. And this is us. Got that? Annabelle nodded. Good. On to Keller's. Next, they went to their mother's dressing table. Lucy coated her lips with lipstick. What color is this, Annabelle? Red. This is not red, Lucy replied. She read the lipstick label. This is raving scarlet. She smeared, smeared powder under her eyebrows, and this is blue desire. Now that you've gotten that, we'll do arithmetic for dinner. Lucy emptied her father's change onto the rug. Remember to ask a lot of questions, Annabelle. Teachers like that. Are there numbers less than zero? And what's the number after infinity, anyway? Annabelle didn't answer. She was already counting the pennies on the rug. Annabelle loved to count. Lucy had already taught her the numbers past 100. Annabelle came to a nickel and Lucy had taught Annabelle about nickels. Remember a nickel's worth five pennies, Lucy said. She picked up one penny. One, she counted, and then took Annabelle's nickel. Two, three, four, five, six. A nickel and a penny, that's six cents. Annabelle, call your sister to dinner, their mother called from the kitchen. Annabelle stood up. She cleared her throat and moved closer to Lucy. Dinner, mm. she shouted. <clears throat> Annabelle woke up early the next morning. She practiced counting the nickels and pennies in her father's mm. change dish until her mother told her it was time to get ready. Annabelle ate breakfast and put on her red dress that she had helped pick out for her first day of kindergarten. Lucy helped Annabelle with on with her sweater. Remember your milk money, Lucy gave Annabelle the nickel and the penny that were lying on the dresser. And don't forget your name tag. I'll, it'll bring you luck. Annabelle smiled. She put her name tag in her pocket and rubbed it with her finger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the girl's mother walked them to school. They dropped Lucy off at her third grade classroom. Good luck, honey, her mother said. Let the teacher know who's boss. Lucy hugged her mother. She turned to her little sister and shook her hand. Annabelle, remember, you're my sister. Annabelle and her mother walked past the second grade room, past the first grade room, and up to the kindergarten. A tall man opened the door. Hello there. I'm Mr. Bloom. I'm the kindergartner teacher. Annabelle, Mr. Bloom will look after you. Annabelle's mother kissed her goodbye. I'll be back at noon to pick you up. Mr. Bloom took Annabelle's hand. Come join your classmates on the green rug. I'm just calling roll. Watch the other children and you'll know what to do. Annabelle sat like the other kids and folded her hands. Max Adams, Mr. Bloom called. A red-haired boy waved his hand. Welcome, Max. Eddie Kramer, here, said little girl. That's Edie Kramer. Aunt Annabelle folded and refolded her hands. Her mouth was dry. Lucy, she whispered, what do I do? Then she saw the corner of her name tag sticking out of the mm -hmm. pocket. Remember, my sister told me how to do this. She said to the chubby boy sitting next to her. <clears throat> Annabelle Swift, Mr. Bloom called. Annabelle jumped up. She cleared her throat. Annabelle Swift, kindergartner. All the kids on the green rug started laughing, except the chubby boy. Annabelle sat down. She wanted to crawl under a rug. Now let's go to the concept corner for the colored lollipop game, Mr. Bloom said. He put, pulled a construction paper lollipop out of the box. Who knows what color this is? Raving scarlet, Annabelle whispered to the chubby, chubby boy. Red, Edie Kramer called out. That's right, Edie, said Mr. Bloom. Annabelle rubbed her name tag with her finger. She counted the buttons on Mr. Bloom's shirt. Mr. Bloom pulled out another lollipop, and this one. Annabelle jumped to her feet. Blue desire, she shouted. Mr. Bloom cleared his throat. It's light blue, Annabelle. Annabelle sat down. Drat that Lucy, she whispered to herself. <clears throat> During recess, Annabelle and the chubby boy dragged sticks along the fence. Annabelle, a bush called out from the fence. Annabelle jumped, then she recognized a voice. Don't worry, she said to the chubby boy. It's just my sister. How's kindergarten? The bush asked. Isn't my training a big help? Annabelle glared at the bush. Not exactly, she said. Annabelle dropped her stick. Her lower lip quivered. Everything I say is wrong. Oh, Annabelle, the bush said. Don't cry. Remember, Annabelle, you're not just any kid. You're Annabelle Swift, kindergartner. The bell rang. Recess was over. Put on your name tag, the bush whispered. It'll help. The chubby boy helped Annabelle stick on her name tag as they walked inside. All the kids sat on the green rug and Mr. Bloom said, now we'll have arithmetic. Any questions before we begin? Annabelle decided not to ask about zero or infinity. Mr. Bloom pointed to some big numbers on the felt board. We'll practice counting together first. The class counted to 10. To herself, Annabelle counted past 100. And now snack time, Mr. Bloom announced. 
I'd like all of you to take out your milk money and put them in the middle of the rug. Everyone piled nickels and pennies on the rug. Mr. Bloom picked up some of the coins. A nickel is five cents and a penny is just one. He said, during the year, we'll study nickels and pennies. In June, whoever can count all the money will get to be milk monitor. For now, I'll just add the coins myself. Annabelle, Mr. Bloom explained. Oh. Mm. But many of the kindergartners decided to count the milk money right away. Most kids didn't get past 10. Max Adams ran out of fingers and Edie Kramer got the nickels mixed up with the pennies. Soon Annabelle was the only kindergartner counting. 105, Annabelle said. 106, 107, and 108. The class was stunned. Annabelle, Mr. Bloom exclaimed. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. In all my years of teaching, I've never seen a kindergartner count all the milk money on their very first day. He shook Annabelle's hand. Mm -hmm. Class, today Annabelle will take the milk money to the cafeteria. The chubby boy cheered. Hooray for Annabelle. Mr. Bloom put all the nickels and pennies in a big yellow envelope. He wrote dollar eight on the corner and handed it to Annabelle. That pink building at the end of the walkway is a cafeteria, he said. I'll watch from the window to make sure you get there. Just give the envelope to the one of the cafeteria ladies. Annabelle took the envelope. She opened the door and headed for the cafeteria. She walked past a first grade classroom and then the second grade. Clearing her throat rather loudly, she walked past her sister's third grade classroom. She opened the door to the cafeteria. Well, thank you, dear, a big lady wearing a red scary hairnet said. She took the envelope and handed Annabelle a tray holding 18 little cartons of milk and 18 straws. Annabelle carried the tray to the cafeteria door. Honey, I need to mark down the milk mon monitor for our records. What's your name? My name's Annabelle, Annabelle said. She slowly opened the door, then she carefully turned around, balancing the big tray. My name's Annabelle, she repeated. Annabelle Swift, kindergartner. Then past the third grade room, past the second, and past the first, Annabelle Swift, kindergartner, proudly walked back to rejoin her class.